if only I had more time, I will be able to do many things that I'm passionate about. How many times have you told this to yourself? All of us have 24 hours, uh, let's say 16 to 17 waking hours. Of this, how many hours are you truly living for yourself? And if you did have that time, what are the things that you would love to do? We're talking about managing your time effectively all this month and today I want to share with you a few hacks, best time savers that can help you free up your time so that you can do what you love to do. And if this topic interests you, keep watching. Hi there, if you're new to me and this is the first time you're here, I'm so glad you decided to stop by. My name is Aparna, I'm a certified coach and every week I share with you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this subject interests you, you may consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're there, do not forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified every Thursday when I post a new video. Okay, so when we talk about pursuing your passion, so following your heart, typically we end up complaining that we don't have enough time to do that. I did that too for a long time. But over the years, I put few hacks in place that helped me save a lot of time. And I'm here to share them with you today. Hack number one is schedule your week's tasks. Now, I am somebody who used to create daily lists. And typically, let me show you that this is the kind of list I maintain. I have my top priorities and divided by morning, afternoon and evening. This is how I maintain my things to do. However, I was not completing all the tasks in my list and it used to be carry forward and I sort of felt like I was wasting a lot of time moving things here and there. Now I decided that I will do a weekly scheduling which means that every Sunday I fill up my list for the week and I then know exactly how I can space accordingly. So maintaining a weekly task actually saved me up a lot of time. So I encourage you to try this method and see if weekly tasks or scheduling your uh, week's tasks will work for you. And do let me know in the comment section below. All right, so hack number two is to prep the night before. Mundane tasks such as packing your bag or deciding what outfit to wear tomorrow or deciding what is the breakfast, what is the breakfast that you're going to make tomorrow. All these tasks can be done a night before. This will not just ease up your time in the morning but also give you clarity on what is it that you have to do. So try and see if you can prep every single thing the night before so that the next day you're ready to roll. Hack number three is to schedule social media time. Let's face it, the more you resist it, the more you're drawn to it. So why not schedule your social media usage time into your calendar and use it intentionally? I have scheduled to look into my account six times a day with an overall three hours as my daily limit. And the moment my three hours are up, I am logged out of the phone. This hack is useful in many ways. Uh, other than saving time, it can also help you control your social media usage time. And not only that, the urge to pick up the phone and see what's happening across your platforms that you're in dies down when you are scheduling it into your calendar. We're talking about time savers and hack number four is to batch your activities, which means grouping similar kinds of tasks and doing them in one go can actually help you save a lot of time. For example, if you need to call people, then you can batch them together and make those calls at once one after the other, rather than spreading the calls throughout the day. Similarly, consolidate your errands and run them all together. You can actually also schedule all your errands into your calendar. Hack number five is to be proactive in your household chores, which is to schedule your housework every single day, which means doing a little bit every single day that, so that you don't spend your weekends doing this stuff. There are so many things around the house that we ignore during the week and it all gets piled up and take away our time during the weekends. By breaking up your chores bit by bit and doing them every single day, you are freeing up your entire weekend to do things that you're passionate about. So there you are, we have discussed five hacks so far so let me quickly summarize them and it is not in any particular order first you schedule your weekly tasks after which you prep for your day the night before you also schedule in your favorite social media time your housework 
and also batch your activities in such a way so that you can have ample amount of time and still get things done. All these time saver hacks that I shared with you today are definitely going to help you free up your time and I give you a personal guarantee in that because I follow them. Now, have you heard about these before or are there any other hacks that you're aware? I'd love to know about them because why not? Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.